W Waco. I am your host Debbie, here to help you get in the know about Waco. This episode, we have a very special guest, and we have Haley. <laughs> all right, Haley, tell us what you do and um, what all about you. So, um, my name is Haley Meyer Sharp. Um, I run the Waco Girl Eats, or Waco Girl, formerly Waco Girl Eats. It's now Waco Girl Does. Mm-hmm. Um, Just I, Waco Things. Yes, I run the Instagram. Um, I have been doing that for a little over a year now. Mm-hmm. Um, and I moved to Waco about five years ago, mm-hmm. and and I was just kind of looking for something to. Um, something to give me a little bit more purpose during the pandemic. And so I wanted to reach out to local businesses and kind of give them a little bit of a boost. Um, And I never expected that it would grow into the community that it has today. And and I'm just really thankful to be here. Yeah. So you said five years in Waco already? Five years. So I always say the title Wacoan is something you must claim. So how have you claimed the title of Wacoan? Um, I guess I... I guess through this community, you know, I've met a lot of uh, a lot of amazing people, and I feel more a part of the community mm-hmm. now um, than I had before. Mm-hmm. Just in this past year, like meeting you, mm-hmm. or or uh, you know, meeting Micah, or um, you know, working with the local businesses that mm-hmm. I have, it's it's really left an, an impact on me as much as I've left an impact on everyone else. Yeah. So tell me how you got started doing what you're doing now. Um, like I said, I kind of started during the pandemic. I just was feeling pretty listless. I, I needed something to do. Um, and obviously everyone was kind of trying to um, give back and support local mm-hmm. businesses that were kind of not getting yeah. the same um, amount of business that they usually were. Yeah, so, especially small businesses. Yeah, of course. And, and so I thought, okay, well, what do I love? I love food. So same, same girl, same. <laughs> that was something easy that I could do. I could order from local businesses and give them a review. Mm-hmm. Um, and then people really seemed to like that. And, and the more I did, um, and I started branching out to like, obviously, like, it's kind of weird to have like feet pics on my Instagram, but that's a, <laughs> <laughs> that's a salon. That's an extra charge. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's a salon that I love and, yeah. and that had lost a lot of business mm-hmm. because they are, you know, Asian Americans during mm-hmm. the pandemic that were, they were seeing a lot of um, racism and mm-hmm. um, it was, it was really hard on their business. So I thought, okay, well. I can post a feet pic mm-hmm. <laughs> and, you know, try and get them a little get bit. Get the views. Yeah. Get, get the a, content. <laughs> get a little bit more more business their way. Um, and so that was kind of the transition from just food content to, mm-hmm. you know, just general Waco, mm-hmm. you know, things to do. Um, and also in Austin or, or Dallas. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of kind of where it started. <laughs> yeah. So where are you at now? Um, in 2022, I've been actually looking to work with more brands. I've mm-hmm. actually had some uh, some people who uh, I've got working relationships mm-hmm. with. We're hoping to collab in the mm-hmm. new year. Um, and oops, sorry about the mic. <laughs> <laughs> but um, there's a lot that I'm looking forward to in this mm-hmm. year. Um, I'm not really sure what's going on because I'm finishing school. Mm-hmm. I go to MCC, go Highlanders. Um, I'm graduating this semester, and so my future right now is kind of wide open. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm just looking for anything to come my way, and I'm trying to go with the flow. Yeah, so what is your mission behind what you do? Um, like I had said, it's just supporting local business. That's something that's really important to me, um, you know, because when you're supporting – you know, the big box stores, mm-hmm. Amazon, whatever, you don't usually have a face to what you're purchasing. Yeah. Um, whereas if you're shopping at East Market, mm-hmm. um, you know the family. Shout out. I love those guys. Oh, my God. It's Amazing. my favorite place. But, like, if, I mean, you get to see the the family that you're mm-hmm. impacting and the, the faces that benefit from you shopping there or, you know, any service like I'm a big fan of Glow Waco. Um, mm-hmm. Robin is my best friend, um, and I know that every time I go to see her, I know that I'm helping her in mm-hmm. some way. And it's it it's one of those things where obviously there's no selfless good deed. Like yeah. you know, I'm do getting it for the content. Do it for the content. <laughs> do it for the gram. It used to be do it for the vine, but now it's do it for the gram. Heck yeah. <laughs> um, but. You know, you 
you get something out of it, yeah. they get something out of it, and it's just a really great symbiotic relationship. Yeah. And even going back to food, I always joke with my husband. Uh, he's like, where do you want to go for dinner? I'm like, obviously has to be local for yeah. the content. <laughs> <laughs> yep. um, but no, I mean, again, that is voting with your dollar. Yeah. Um, and you show support through these small businesses and um, both through, I mean, even not even on like an influencer level, but, you know, you you would literally give them your money and your support both yeah. uh, vocally and um, monetarily. Yeah. But yeah. And um, what is one of the biggest goals you want to have for 2022? Um, I definitely like to work with more with more local businesses this year. Mm-hmm. I'm getting more collabs under my mm-hmm. belt. Um, I would like to, let's see. I don't know. That's a really good question because, I mean, I wanted to hit 1,000 followers, and I did that. Woo! Which, like, so I now 2,000 followers. 2,000. You know, just go for the double. But there you go. That was something that just I was. Just keep doubling it. Oh, yeah, every year. Uh, mm-hmm. But that was something that I was. I did it in a little bit over my first year because that was kind of my goal before the end of last year. Um, and that was that was kind of like the, okay, now I'm done. Mm-hmm. I, I got what I wanted. But mm-hmm. um, I don't know. Like I said, I'm, I'm kind of open to see what comes my way. I'm trying to be more flexible and um, always just look at, you know, lifting smaller companies mm-hmm. up. Yeah. And do you want to tell the story about the pupusa lady? Oh, yeah. So my first ever collab I did, um, it was from Wake Up Papusas. Mm-hmm. Um, Shout out. <laughs> this lovely uh, this lovely person, Alejandra, she reached out to me and mm-hmm. she was like, hey, I'm new in town. Can I can I give you food for free publicity? <laughs> and I was like, absolutely you can. Never turn that down. <laughs> no, it was it was amazing. And I just remember thinking, okay, I'm officially an influencer. Oh, right? yeah, I I'm know. getting free stuff. I'm a very macro, micro influencer. <laughs> yes, that was me. <laughs> um, and so I just went by. She was um, working mm-hmm. out of her apartment, and, and I, I picked it up, and mm-hmm. it was amazing. It was so good. Uh, my husband is Mexican, mm-hmm. so we kind of have like those like uh, you know flavors in our house. Uh, obviously, they're Salvadorian, mm-hmm. but um, I was really excited to try and um, you know get in on the ground floor. Yeah, um, and she, you know, same as me, West Coast kid, you know, yep. moved from California, and um, we really got along in, in that aspect, and um, we ended up ordering from her a couple more times just because <laughs> it was so good. Yeah. But that was that was kind of a, a big moment for me to, you know, have somebody reach out to me and be like, hey, I want to work with you. Yeah. And I was like, oh. Yeah, and so. now your um, big interview with Micah. Do you want to talk a little bit about, about that? Yeah, Micah had actually reached out to me um, on, uh, like, a through DM, and she said, um, you know, she was looking to get the word out about mm-hmm. Waco Doula, and um, she thought that I would be a good conduit for that. Mm-hmm. And so, and shout out to her podcast. Go follow it, Rogue Media Network. Yep. <laughs> um, and um, you know, my my mom had used um, a doula midwife mm-hmm. um, for uh, my younger brother, who's mm-hmm. on the other side of the camera, mm-hmm. on down. And um, so that was something that I had had in my life, and and I knew the benefits of having a doula at your birth. And so I was super excited to work with her. Um, and uh, we met for coffee at um, Pinewood Roasters. Shout out Pinewood. Pine- Amazing. One of the, the, best vi- the vibe is immaculate. <laughs> immaculate. <laughs> um, and uh, we met for coffee and kind of decided what we wanted to do as far as um, content. And mm-hmm. I suggested an interview just mm-hmm. so that I could kind of ask my own questions and get my, my followers' feedback. Um, and then we came in here, um, mm-hmm. Debbie hooked it up mm-hmm. and, uh, we filmed it and, and uploaded it to my YouTube channel, which is still pretty, mm-hmm. it's in its infancy. Yeah. Um, but I'm trying to get more content. I guess that is something I want to yeah. do in the new year, um, is film more content for that YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, it was just a great experience. Micah is, is a dream. She's so easy to talk <laughs> to. Um, and she's just led such an interesting life as both, you know, a mom and a business owner. And I think that a, a lot of, you know, people and women specifically can learn a lot from yeah, her. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. And um, we do have an exciting announcement to make. So um, she will be <coughs> stepping on to start helping with No Waco. So that was the big announcement for today. Um, what is one of the biggest things you want to bring to No Waco? Um, <sighs> I don't know. I mean, you've done such a great job with it. It's hard to kind of step into those shoes. Um, but I I just would kind of like to put my own um, 
like Je ne sais quoi. Yes, my own <laughs> transplant twist. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'd like to get in some more people who are new to the city yeah. like I am um, and who are just trying to make this place home. Yeah. And um, what do you see happening for 2022? Um, I don't know. I, I, I like to look at everything as kind of, um, you know, like come what may. Yeah. So um, obviously I've got some goals. Like I said, I want to grow my YouTube channel mm-hmm. a little bit. Um, I want to grow the page, get to meet more people. Yeah. Um, I'd like to I actually meet a lot of my internet friends in person. Oh, yes. Completely understandable. So many of these like people that I've met through. It's like I've seen your yeah. face in pictures, but now yes. I have a face to your name in person. <laughs> yeah, as we're, as we're coming out of this, you know, pandemic or whatever, yeah. you know, I'm just I'm excited to actually meet people and, you know, form these in-person relationships that I've kind of been cultivating online. So that's something I'm definitely excited for. Yeah, well, I'm so glad that you're going to be helping us out here. Um, And I'm really looking forward to you, um, you know, stepping in my shoes a little bit, as you said, um, and helping out to make this even bigger and better. Um, My whole point of starting this podcast is just to grow our community and to, you know, I always say bolster our community in any way possible. So I say anything and everything Waco. Um, And that's where the No Waco mission is. And I think that what you've been doing and everything you've been talking about, even for this last show, just proves to me that um, we're just going to be so lucky to have you. (laughs) Thank you. And I'm just, I'm so grateful to have the opportunity, like as somebody who, you know, is a transplant here, Mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's, it's really cool to have people who you know look to me for local mm-hmm. things like I just had somebody last night they're like hey I need to get my nails done where do you recommend where go <laughs> and, and I was like oh you could go here they're like okay and now I need dinner where do you recommend <laughs> and, uh, and I just I I feel very lucky mm-hmm. to to be that person for somebody um because I needed that yeah. when I moved here so I I'm happy to have kind of moved over to the other side of the equation. Yeah, of course. And then, of course, give all of our listeners um, where we can find you, all of your information, all of your socials, your YouTube, yeah. everything. Um, my YouTube is Haley Meyer Sharp. Um, and then all of my socials are Waco Girl Does. Um, and you can find me there. Yeah, and we'll keep posting on the No Echo page. We'll just be having um, Haley helping out, so you might just hear a different voice behind the microphone every once in a while. Um, and as our channel grows, we plan to keep doing more video content. Um, we're going to try and keep, uh, of course, bolstering our community, helping small uh, businesses, transplants, um, any new artist, creative, um, anybody that really has a voice in our community, this is the platform we want to give them. Um, so I always say, remember, if you have an event or activity coming up, Um, Make sure you reach out to either of us now uh, and we will get you scheduled on the show and we'll talk about it here. um, And we're looking forward to meeting more people and having a wonderful 2022. Yeah, I'm really excited. Yeah. And is there anything else you want to share with our followers today? Um, I don't know. I, 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 I would give a little bit of advice is to get away from kind of like the bigger things in Mm -hmm. Waco and, and go smaller. That, mm-hmm. that would be my big my big advice is to kind of like instead of like the like the big things you think mm-hmm. of when you think of Waco, you know, just go a little bit smaller. And Magnolia. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, like just walk along downtown and, yeah. and you'll meet some amazing people who are who are doing amazing things. I mean, just next door. Mm-hmm. Gather. Amazing. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, Shout out. The lady who runs that shop is amazing, you know, and, mm-hmm. and that was somewhere that I had somebody coming up. To visit, they're like, "Hey, I'm coming up to visit. Where, do, where where should I go?" I was like, "Go downtown." Of course, that's where you got to be. Mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah. And I just got back from Butter My Biscuit Cafe. Shout out! Mm. They have biscuit like bread bowls that you put your food in. Like it's like brunch in a biscuit bowl. That sounds amazing. It's the best thing in the world. Not so like even carbs. just like and it's literally carbs on carbs on carbs. But I'm <laughs> I'm totally fine with that. Um, but yeah, and it's just like going off the beaten path. And um, again, our mission is to show people that are like, oh, there's nothing to do in Waco. I go to Austin and Dallas every weekend. That there are things in your own backyard that you may drive by every day, but you would never even know is there. Yeah. Like, there are so many new things developing in our city, and especially with 2022 um, coming in and hopefully the panini ending, um, (laughs) things will begin to keep growing. And we have a lot of exciting things happening here at Rogue Media, um, and I will formally announce it here as well. Um, So I just stepped in as the new GM at Cultivate 712. 
Um, so that's also why I'm bringing Haley on to help me out, because uh, I know I'm going to be uh, elbows deep in paint um, most of the time. <laughs> Very exciting. Um, but yeah, so we have a lot of exciting things happening and a lot of changes, um, but it is all good things. So I'm definitely looking forward to it. Looking forward to it, too. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thank you for coming. <laughs> Thank you for tuning into this week's podcast. This is your host, Debbie, signing off. Now that you know, go. Just go, Waco. This has been a Rogue Media Podcast. Podcast.